Hey guys, you're probably used to using state and passing that state, be it data or functions, up and down through your components. But did you know there's an easier way? So today we're going to look at use context and how you can use that to create an almost global state for your application. So what I've got here is a, a basic app with four pages, home, about, team and contact. And each component, home, about, team, which is uh, using dummy JSON to pull some dummy users through and contact. And you'll see on our page, we can simply go through each page using React Router. Now, where the use context really comes into its own is where you have reusable data through your app. But instead of defining that data in one place and passing it down through your components as props, we can actually create a global state and that's use context. So let's get straight into it. Or if you, we look at the team component there, you can see that I'm pulling through um, some dummy JSON data for users and outputting each of the team members. We've got a footer which contains contact information, um, but that contact information is also used on the contact page. So at the moment, on both the contact page and the footer, we're having to redefine exactly the same data. Now we could well define that at the app level and pass it down as a prop, but we're going to instead use the use context hook. So if we go over to index.js, the first thing we want to do, um, in fact, what we'll do is we'll create a new component first. Let's create a component and we'll call it site uh, wrapper. Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do in here is create a wrapper that we'll put around our whole app to give every component access to this global state that we're going to create. So we'll need to import create context, we'll need to import use context, and we'll want use state and use effect in this component. The second thing we want to do is set a new const of site context and that's going to initiate create context and on line four we want to export that so we're going to say export const site data equals uh, use context site context and now we can go ahead and define our wrapper so uh, export const site wrapper oh, let's just build this so um, let's first of all create our team items so we can go ahead to the team component and we can pull this from there because we're not going to need that in the team component anymore and we'll pop that into here and then we'll return and we've got site context dot provider value equals and we're going to pass an object with our team items in it for now there we go and then within there we want to output the child component so we'll pull that through as a prop hit save so what we've built here is a component that uses the create context that uses the use context um, and we've called this site data so that's going to be the object that we control or we store all of the data in and then we've got a simple react component called site wrapper that we can wrap around any object we want and then any components within that site wrapper will have access to the site data. And using sitecontext.provider, we can output any values or functions that we want to pass through to those child props. So in fact, while we're here, what we'll do is we'll take this contact information and we'll cut that from there and we'll pop that into our site wrapper as well. And then we can pass here 
team and the contact info. And so we can go ahead um, and remove that from our footer as well, because that will need it. It will have direct access to it. So we're going to get some errors for now while we get this set up. So with our site rep wrapper now created, if we head over to our index.js file and we import our, in fact, I should get the autofill on this site wrapper. There we go. So having now created this site wrapper, we can pull that through to our index.js and then anything within of these tags will have access in theory to this context or as I like to uh, describe it as a global state. So with that said, we should be able to head over to the team section and say const team equals site data. Again, if you remember, we defined site data as an export constant in here within our wrapper. And if we hit save, that's that and then if we go back to our contact and we do const contact info equals site data and save that so you'll notice some of the errors have disappeared again and if we go to our footer and do the same thing uh, contact info equals site data and import that in you can now see that this data we're defining, or the state objects that we're defining in our wrapper and passing through as values to our context provider are now accessible in any of our child components, which is going to mean managing data is so much easier. You could also um, not just pass data, but we could define a function. So we could say const add team member. And we won't pass any parameters through for now. Um, in fact, let's pass through um, a name and we could console log that name out. And if we go here, uh, add team, so we can pass that function through our context provider as well. And then within our team members, we can add a button on this page, add team member. And then we'll need to pull that through here. So add team member. And then we can use that as a function on the click of our button. Add team member. And we'll give it the name of Dave. So just refresh the page. That's the one flaw with using use context is when you make changes to the context they won't necessarily hot reload your page sometimes you have to manually refresh so if we go back into this team component and hit the add team member button let's just inspect the console we should see dave 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 now we can pass through any name we like again refresh john so it's not just data but its functions, you could even pass the function to update your state directly into the values of your context provider. Um, not something I'd recommend though, it's always worth defining your own. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that's made use context a lot simpler for you.